Welcome, I'm Dr. Ford, the Nikki Doc, and you're watching the What Is Serious. So let's get to the definitions. So bilirubin is basically a breakdown product of red blood cells. See, in general, red blood cells last about 120 days uh, approximately. Uh, for some of the red blood cell transfusion, the blood that's in the transfusion, they last a little bit less. And there are certain diseases that cause red blood cells to actually break faster or easier. And so obviously those red blood cells last less. But in general, it lasts about 120 days. Well, when that red blood cell breaks or tears, it releases a lot of different products. And one of those is actually what's found within the molecule of hemoglobin. If you don't know what hemoglobin is, you can actually look at the what is desaturations video and that'll explain a little bit about hemoglobin. But essentially when that hemoglobin breaks, it releases a lot of different things. And one of, one of the things that it does, it, it releases actually uh, uh, bilirubin. And bilirubin needs to be broken down to be excreted. Everything that we break down has to leave the body. Uh, and so what the body does is that it breaks it down and it goes through several different processes to be able to eliminate it through the urine or through your stool. And so the body will go ahead and eliminate the breakdown product of red blood cells. Now, if your red blood cell product is not able to be broken down and eliminated, then bilirubin will actually accumulate in the blood. And in babies, this is extremely, in general, in any person is extremely dangerous, but in babies, this can be very dangerous because obviously the brain is still developing. If the bilirubin actually elevates to a certain level, it can actually cause brain damage or something called kernicterus. And so we as neonatologists are always very aware and aggressive to make sure that we can check the bilirubin level and that we can keep that bilirubin level down. The process of breaking down that bilirubin happens for the most part within the liver. And premature babies obviously don't have a you know, healthy, mature liver, they're still developing. And so what will happen is it's very common for uh, premature babies to have an elevation in bilirubin and require our help with some phototherapy, with that special blue light, to be able to break down that bilirubin so that then the babies can go ahead and pee it and poop it. Okay, so that's why when we look at the labs, we look at bilirubin, if there's any issues, we have to start that light so that we can keep that light under you know, good levels, appropriate levels, and minimize the chance that your baby will get any problems, any brain problems from bilirubin. One thing as parents that you can do is that if your baby's at home, if your baby has been discharged and you notice a yellowish color or jaundice in the baby, then you really wanna notify your pediatrician, let him know that you're seeing this yellowish color. Another sign sometimes is, is you know, baby's not eating well, it's not as active as it used to be, and, and that may be because of jaundice, and that may be because of the bilirubin going up. So another reason to call your pediatrician, just let him know that you're noticing a little bit of a yellowish color, that your baby's not as active. That way they can go ahead and get a level and make sure that the bilirubin's not the issue here. And if it is, your baby will have to be admitted put on that phototherapy light to get that level down and that way we prevent any problems or brain damage. That's bilirubin. 